Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome back to Inscription Casey's Mod. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to beat round 8. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm certainly hoping for. I am going to try with the bone pack. Because I do feel like it might be our best bets. Actually, um... Because I... Vanilla is not... It's good, interesting, but not good. Underwater pack, I don't really want it. The triple attack, certainly very interesting. I'm also interested for the blood pack and the, yeah, I think. <coughs> hmm. Actually, I'm gonna go try for the blood pack. I'm gonna try for one candle, slightly stronger challenges, no rares. <coughs> and let's see here on one side tipped scales I guess I could do mm hmm could do boss battles, also totem battles. Which would be interesting. Instead of more... Yeah, I think boss battles or totem battles might be the best bet since they're already pretty difficult anyways. Since I only have one candle, so I might as well make the most of it while I can. <laughs> got two of my cards that I'm always looking forward to, so that's good. I will try and... <coughs> some of these I want, but I guess I will get that. Okay. 
collect mantis, which is good. Hopefully it's useful. I will Right, so I can move some sigils around too. about nothing. Yeah. Oh, many of these. I guess I can do the turtle and transfer the sigils. So right now, I'm going to transfer the Rat King sigils onto the cockroach. So I can keep playing itself. I get a second cockroach. And then do the blood sigil transfer. Um, I kind of want to do that sigil because that sigil's a little bit better. Even, though, if, even as much as I want the insects, doing the double attack is just very useful. So I think it's the angler. Sliding him down with squirrels. There is my goat, which is good, but I don't want to risk anything else, so... I also have a goat this place. single point of damage. Well, did take a point of damage, but not enough to like 
be of concern. Snow line, which means I'm gonna be up against the traitor. <coughs> Okay, so that's the copier right there. That's the thing, so. I mean, I think as of. I think my best bet's probably going up the middle of the place. Got the elk, I mean, it's a great, but. Get some extra damage in, which is good. Great to transfer the sigils to. Get some more items. Skip turn and I'll get a squirrel. And there's the merger, which is perfect, I think. Well, do I even have any? Oh, yeah, I have the two corpse back here. Maggots, which I don't know if I want to do at this moment. <coughs> I guess I can merge the maggots together. Just to make my deck size small. I can't, okay, so we can transfer sigils twice, which would be good. Thank <laughs> you. 
you for the time being. Right now, I'm going to transfer the turtle to the moose buck. At least the moose buck is protected. And then transfer the magpie to the corpse maggots. That way at least deck a little bit more consistent. That's gonna be interesting when the creatures come out. Okay, I guess I'll just do that first. a little bit better because this is gonna be a tough this is gonna be a tough fight Hard. Probably shouldn't have, should have gone the items to make this fight a little bit easier, but honestly, I just want a consistent deck. Thank you. 
close enough that it wouldn't have cheese. <coughs> I would have thought the tra the uh, guard would have protected it from the trap, but guess not. second loose buck for the ability to merge later on. Let's see here. Guess I'll go up to the right. 
be interesting to see how that works out. It's also... Ooh, the jam's getting stronger. That would be interesting. Also get more things for the cockroach as well. Guess I'll do the... that. The dams would do good. We'll do that to get the new stuff. It's not much, but... We'll get one more campfire, which would be good. God, I mean, that was good, it just... Alright, so I can get bones. They so haven't gotten the second thing to transfer anyway, so... So, let's see here. What do I want to make stronger? I guess we'll do with the knees. Stronger. She did get a little something, something. Oh, nothing that I need to worry about though. Fight, but it's a good one. 
So I'll get the mealworm just to make whoever I sacrifice it for a little bit stronger. So. I guess I could put it onto the. <coughs> I guess as of right now, since I don't have any items, I think my best bet is to get some more items. Um, target bonus doesn't hurt. Get a little too skipper turn. Like test, but I think I'll do good. comes out. Day complete. 
clear challenge rating level 8 in Casey's mod. Bosses defeated 4, cards drawn 156, most scale damage in 1 turn 9, scrolls harmed 45, sacrifices made 65, misplays 15. Entry number 8. I barely leave the apartment, save for the odd dinner out with my mom, but last night was an exception. I went to Comics Line to play a Secret of Legendary Draft. Is it weird that I brought the disc with me? I felt uncomfortable being apart from it. I ended up ripping a, a foiled sweaty dragon but lost the first match to this weird dude who wanted to record it for his YouTube channel. Like he actually brought his camcorder on a shaky looking tripod to the shop. How is that allowed? Cards unlocked. Red heart. The the value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of sacrifices made during your turn. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, red heart will move to the directed it's inscribed on the sigil. And it's two cost two blood and two health. Challenge unlocked. <coughs> Cards in starting de deck will have the Annoying Sigil, which is the one where the opposing creature gets one stronger, plus 10 challenge points. Interesting. Well, with that, I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, month of your lives. May the stars forever guide your path, forever might lead you into the future. Goodbye, everybody.